Okay, this one is about what this silly thing does in a circuit. Now, it's a, that's a run capacitor. It's 45 microfarads. And it's an AC capacitor. And it's used in series with the start winding of a PSC motor. So, what does it actually do? There's a lot of terms out there. Capacitive reactance, uh, voltage leading amperage, amperage leading voltage. All these kind of things are out there in the AC circuit. And I'm not there here to try to explain how all those things work and interact. What I'm here to try to explain is simply what this thing does in a circuit. Now, if you've looked at any of my other stuff on capacitors, I've told you capacitors are essentially a type of battery. And just like any battery, when it's completely discharged and you put a battery charger on it, it's going to try to charge it it's going to take a lot of power so it's going to charge very quickly as it gets more power into it more charge then it's going to create a resistance to flow so if it was in a DC application and I took a voltage source and hooked it up to it it would draw a lot of amperage for just a very short time these things the time is a lot different than like a car battery or something. It's just uh, milliseconds. So it's going to draw a lot of power to start with, and then as it charges up, that resistance to flow is actually going to make a resistance to the amount of electricity that can go through it. So that's what they do. Now, in an AC application, because they're reversing each time, it charges and discharges with each cycle. You can see the sine wave here, zero volts, positive, and negative. Well, if I put a capacitor in there, the capacitor makes a sine wave too. Because as it, as the voltage goes up, the power is going in, this capacitor is going up, but it's also building up resistance as it goes up. So it's actually a type of resistor. Overall, it doesn't let a lot of power through because it charges up so much and resists the flow. So if I took and looked at it simply like a resistor, something that resisted flow of power through it, that is probably as accurate a thing as anything. It's much more complicated than that but it does resist flow through. Now I did a video on a PSC motor and I removed the capacitor and just put power straight to the run winding. Motor starts fine. It overdraws. It draws too much power because there's too much power going through the start winding. That capacitor is what is limiting the amount of power that's going to the start winding. So that's actually what it does. Now here I put a second sine wave in, in here. That's this capacitor. It's charging up, so its voltage is going up into the start winding. Now the capacitor is sending that power into the start winding. It's a lower voltage than uh, the original sine wave. So there's going to be less amp draw through it, and it's somewhat out of phase. Out of phase is how we start motors. So that's what that capacitor does. And while it's doing that, it's creating an overall resistance to flow so that there's limited amount of power going into the start wind. It does help with efficiency of the motor. I can't say I really understand why it does but it does make somewhat of a difference in the efficiency of the motor. Here I'm set up with a motor, PSC motor. It has a run cap on it, and I've clamped the run circuit through the capacitor. And let's see what kind of amp draw we get. Okay, we're going to start the motor. Okay, we're drawing about 1.7 amps 
through the start circuit. Now let's eliminate the cap completely and I will just run power straight to the run or the start winding. Also note the noise of the motor. Okay you can see what I've done here I've just taken the capacitor and eliminated it from the circuit. The power lead is coming up and it's going straight to the start winding. Let's see if it starts now. Now you can see my amperage draw is about, I think it's three quarters of an amp or so more. And notice the noise. The motor, it, it's making a real humming so it sound and uh, it's making noise. It's not running efficiently. So when we put the uh, run cap in the circuit, the run cap acts as, I'll call it an impedance rather than a resistance because it isn't the same as just a resistor, but it does impede the flow of electricity and it also changes the way that start winding works. It makes it run smoother. Remember our little sine wave thing there. The capacitor is, the capacitor supplies impedance or if you want to call it resistance you can call it that, it really isn't, but um, it's a type of device that limits the amount of power that goes through it. And that's what that capacitor does in the PSC motor circuit.